Greetings, my esteemed audience. I'm checking in from a beautiful winter forest. Now perhaps you hear it in the background, some snow falling from the trees and it's actually raining a bit, so a bit warmer. Hopefully the temperature cools down a bit over Christmas so we can maintain this nice white landscape. Either way, I thought to share my plans for this Yuletide for this Christmas. And in sharing said Christmas plans, I'm also sharing a valuable teaching when it comes to health and productivity. So I will use a training example to illustrate my point. Back in the day when I was a, a young man, now I'm um, a venerable ancient, as I said, I'm 3,400 years old. But in my younger years, I literally had to force myself to rest from the gym. Because of course I wanted to go to the gym, but I had to force myself because I knew that Sometimes you need to slow down and rest, otherwise you will um, you will train too much, maybe, and you will train suboptimally. Because the body itself, not necessarily the muscles, but the skeleton and uh, ligaments, they need a rest. So you can take a deload week, and that simply means that for a week you reduce all weights in half, but you train as usual. Or you can just take a... Uh, a rest week, not to train at all. You need to do this sometimes to recover the body so you can train hard in the in the time to come. Now when we're talking about productivity, perhaps you are an entrepreneur or a student or whatever, whatever you do if you're interested in productivity you can view your own work in a similar manner that you take a break from being productive so you can be more productive later on. So on a personal note I know I have a lot of things to do, a lot of things to do mainly with logistics in January so I'll have a lot of work to do. So what do I do? Yes I slow down, I take it easy in December, I rest up and you know forcing myself to not be as productive now so I will be hit by a rush of a yearn to be productive in January. I've done this many times before and I know it works really well for me that I build up an energy, I recharge myself so much so that when the time comes, usually in, in the beginning of January, then I've done so much, so many non-productive things that I have charged up my motivation to, to be productive and then I just unleash it and be, um, and yeah, I get a lot of things done. So that is something you can keep in mind. So if you ask my Christmas plans and I say that, yeah, I will try Age of Empires 4, because of course I grew up with Age of Empires 2, Age of Mythology and Age of Empires 3, so I want to try the fourth game. I want to play some Assassin's Creed, some Skyrim, I want to read The Siege of Terra, Dan Abnett's latest book. All of these things, you might ask at a first glance, how do these things, how do me playing Skyrim, how does that help in achieving my goals of imposing my will on the world and yeah again achieving my long-term goals it doesn't help in the short term but I'm not playing a short-term game I'm playing a long-term game so I need to look out for myself in the long run in looking out for myself I'm also looking out for my family so you need to pace yourself in order to set a high pace later on so that is how best I can explain you know gaming as uh, a husband and father uh, who is quite productive otherwise, how can he then sit down to game? How is this possible? Well, that is the explanation, that you use that time to build up a motivation in you to train harder. No, not train harder, work harder. So I'm, uh, I'm using the same example here, training or working. It's the same thing. So if you, if you haven't trained for a week and you're really into the gym or whatever it might be, it might be jiu-jitsu, you might be bitten by the jiu-jitsu bug, so you really feel like training jiu-jitsu all the time and you haven't trained for a while and then you have that yearn to get back to it and that will make you um, train with more enthusiasm. Same thing in the gym and now, and now in this particular example we have productivity when it comes to a business or whatever it might be. So that is my plan, to force myself to not be productive. So be with the family, be with the girls, read fiction books, so not my usual uh, books I've read over the last two years, so I'm taking a break from all of that, just relaxing a bit more, and then come January, I believe at least, I haven't decided yet, but I believe I will start Jung Maxing, so reading the works of Carl Jung, maybe I will start planning my own next book, who knows, we will see, but the main point here is that taking it easy so I can work harder later on, and uh, yeah, try it yourself if you are in that position, and also do try to, if you are on, on X a lot and you consume a lot of black pills, try to take a break from that too. Uh, you know, if you want to participate in the metapolitical game for a long time, you need to pace yourself as well. You can't constantly bombard your mind with um, 
the West is falling imagery. So uh, yeah, take a break from it as well and then you can get back to it in during next year. Now, lastly, for anyone who has ordered something at legioglorio.com, first and foremost, I salute you for supporting my beloved company. This is a prototype, by the way, for a wool scarf will be out next year. Great stuff, great stuff indeed. Um, I also salute you for placing an order of some good stuff, because the products, they hold the highest quality, I'm very proud to say. So I salute you. Now, a heads up, though, in Christmas time, during the, uh, during the entire December and early January actually the postal system is completely mugged by the sheer volume of orders so if your package it doesn't arrive in time for Christmas uh, there isn't really much I can do on my part I don't send the packages out myself so I can't sign the books either and you will get um, a tracking uh, when the uh, when the order has been sent out so but yeah expect some delays expect some postal chaos some logistical chaos uh, I've been through this a few times before so I know that December is quite chaotic indeed so do keep that in mind and of course I am the customer support on both Youtube Name Nutrition and Lig and now of course I am the customer support on Lig Gloria and Youtube Name Nutrition I like to interact with the customers myself um, Give me a few days over Christmas, I might be a bit slower to respond to some emails because I want to, as I said, take it a bit easier, but yeah, I'll get back to all emails as soon as, um, as, soon as possible anyway, after Christmas, that is. So, good stuff, good stuff. I hope you will also have a harmonious and peaceful Christmas. I hope I will have it. You never know, but I hope for it at least. Now, in terms of productivity, I will make, of course, the monthly podcast episode. It will be about the cult of Mithras, so that will be nice to make so that will be my productivity for uh, the end of the month and if you aren't already subscribed to the podcast do so check it out i go a bit more in depth in um in my discussions so i pick a topic elaborate on it and then i in the beginning of each episode i talk a bit about training biohacking some updates some some politics everything like that so do check it out, link in the description box below. Now, thank you for watching and thank you for your support. XOXO, boom!